and then you play some music. Uh, Zen meditation um, to begin the the journey, the to set the emotional tone and the headspace, and just to set the tone of our journey. And it begins by playing the didgeridoo, and getting that deep earthly voices within voices feel. Get that trancey headspace with us, and he's really good at playing it. And I'm laying there, breathing deeply. Approach me from above as I'm still laying down on the ground. I feel this presence floating above me, and I open my eyes once and I see this smoke cloud hovering about 10 feet above me, and it has a distinct serpentine quality. And I know that this is the grandmother that is visiting me right in front of me. And I look at her and I make eye contact once. She's floating above me and she's sort of got this slithery, undulating feel to her. And I close my eyes. I want to communicate with her. I want to feel her. I don't want to see her. I'm used to seeing things and people in the world. I want to experience her with new senses. And so we play this game. She creeps in from every pore sort of has a slithering, flirtatious feel. I'm like, ah, that's nice. And I, I tense up, and I'm like, yeah, I like that. Let me hold on to that. Mm, that's nice. And as soon as I tense up and attempt to grab onto it, <laughs> off in all directions. I'm like, oh, okay. So I let go, I let go. And I relax. Here she comes again, from all angles, through every pore, off on the periphery, dancing with me, closer and closer, flirting. She gets close, and mm, I feel that, I like it, yeah, and I hold on to it, and I'm like, mm. <laughs> off again, so we're playing this flirtatious game, and I'm like, oh. Okay, just let it go and let it be. Don't try to hold on to it. So we dance back and forth. And I am just going with it. I'm relaxed and I'm allowing it to flow through me. And so my first lesson is to let go, directly transmit it, and so I'm laying there having this experience, and uh, I feel very spacious, I basically have my eyes closed for the majority of the time, it's a completely internal experience. This very like I feel like they have this dome above me, this open dome of my headspace. It's f opened up, and actually, it 
it includes my friends around me and I feel this transparency to my skin. I feel like my skin is transparent. And I feel that all the thoughts that I have flow through me and into this collective space that can be picked up on my friends. And so there is nothing private here. There is essentially a transparency to myself, to everything that I'm experiencing that they're experiencing too. And they could tap into it. And so to be in integrity was paramount. And this connection, we are one. You know, I felt intimately related with this space and my fellow brothers in this space. And uh, I'm just sort of sitting with this feeling. And there's this spiraling effect, you know. My brother Eod's telling this story about this lady that he knows, and he mentions Julie Danger. And the phrase Julie Danger comes and it spins around me, and I see it, and it travels up in a spiral fashion all the way up. And the story that's connecting us together, these words are visibly floating around us, spiraling together on up. And we are creating this tapestry of myth, weaving it together, and it's flowing, and it's beautiful.